9.762 it's second position and Levin Yumelitovic well if you look at her results so far 1, 2 and 2 with her floor exercise to come in the next rotation and I think one of the key points that you have mentioned Monica is that Milicevic and the youngster before her, Podkopayeva, are two of the few competitors today who have made major mistakes. They've made little wobbles, like you've pointed out, but no major mistakes at all. And that's what seems to have dictated and kept Podkopayeva and Milicevic on top in the women's beam, which moves the Americans. Right. Well, the warm-up continues. Rotation three is just about to start. And that's very interesting, exciting. And it looks like, Monica, someone's had quite a nasty fall in the warm-up. Oh, dear. It looks to be one of the young French girls. First, it's Elo de Luca. such a committed, brave little girl as well. We didn't see exactly how she fell, but uh, she has got a bloody nose and uh, a bruised face, but they really ought to leave her lying still. In the country, to say the least. Well, yes, it was bonus. Height and length that scored him those fabulous marks. Yao Yar of China. Now, just mentally preparing, running through the routine for a last and final time as she takes to the floor. The floor where we'll be seeing Lavinia Malisevic. Dominique Dawes has the best score for the United States of America with Miller lying second and Gina Gogian of Romania in third position. And we hope that young Elodie Lusak is recovered. But unfortunately for her, she has to recover after a nasty fall before beam. And that is the most alarming piece of apparatus to have to go to after a fall. And we've already seen her in action and she's a tough little cookie. There's no way that she would lie down and look so distressed if she wasn't really hurt. So to actually pull herself together and prepare for beam is most unfortunate. Floor not quite so bad because balance and nerves are easier to disguise. Well, oh, a slight delay. See how you are. Wait very patiently and wait for that indication from the judges that she may proceed. And I think so far the Australian Federation has done a brilliant job of presenting this World Championship because the entries have been enormous and there have been very few hold-ups really. The back out of the floor area, one tenth gone already. So you can say she's being marked out of 9-9. And spring one and a half to spring front. It's amazing as the code is developed how elements are linked together very similar and many gymnasts end up with similar types of combinations. The white chalk is put in the corner so that the corners are visual 
to the gymnasts as they travel at speed. It isn't to prevent them from slipping because the carpet is non-slip. It's purely so they can identify the corner. Oh dear. One and a half. Full twisting front into punch front. And she just landed with a hitch out of line and the somersault went down. Was, I would suggest a very, very risky um, dismount really on the floor. She didn't need the, the front somersault. Two major mistakes. The first, I think, coming up now, where young Chinese performer steps clearly out over the line. And there is the second. And with the quality, really, of its utmost, one of the most closely contended apparatus, I feel, the floor over the past two days. That's almost a definite non-qualification it's such a shame because the step out she could have survived it was good it was strong but the mistiming just unfortunate on a sprung floor if you hit it at the wrong angle at the wrong time instead of it really accelerating what you've already created it decelerates it there she landed with her feet in front of her body and her hips downwards so the minute her feet hit the floor her trunk went down and she couldn't lift the somersault there's just nothing you can do about a situation like that. Other than don't have it as the last tumble. I think she might change it for the next competition. We'll see if in the all-round competition she changes her tumbles around. Yes. Yeah. Thirty-first position, way down. And... Again, a youngster who will look forward now to the all-around competition. And that was her last opportunity to qualify. But add six tenths onto that score, and she would have been in the top. Attitude, of but disappointing Italian gymnast there, to say the least. Lilia Podkopieva from the Ukraine, who surprised us with a super beam score coming in this. Ranking fourth, ready for the finals, despite a couple of wobbles. Oh, yes. Hamstring, flystring, double front. We haven't seen that. We've seen an Arabian double from Amanda from Barron from the USA. Great, full twisting front. Again, highest possible value on front stumbling there in the women's code. Artistry in abundance, jumps high. But we do need a back tumble to dismount, otherwise she'll be penalized for having all the tumbles going in the same direction. This corner a little bit empty. A heavy weight there. That will be a penalty. Pull him back out. And that's put paid to her chances. But far too long a weight in the corner. 